Scribble RT is a note-taking app that I design and develop for Windows 8 and Windows RT. My first tip for using the app is to turn the device around. If you ink, you can accidentally hit the start button, which causes the application to close. Let's reopen the app and rotate the device upside down. When you start a new document, the top of the page is placed in the writing area. Let's start writing. This is my note, and when I reach the margin of the screen, the page scrolls automatically. You can keep writing in the same space. Every time you reach the end of the screen, the app will scroll. It's kind of like having an infinite white page. When you reach the margin of the page, the app will scroll to the next line. Then double tap to see what you have written and double tap again to go back in the location and keep writing. This is the main feature of the app. There are a few color, three pen and two highlighters to start with. You can pick any of the pen color and ink. Uh, you can tap and hold in one of the color and select among a larger set of color. Let's pick orange and ink. You can zoom in by using pinch and you can pan by dragging with two fingers. The highlighter can be used to highlight a portion of your note or just for coloring. Tap and hold to get access to a set of color also for the highlighter. The next button on the right is the eraser. You can delete existing stroke and select the pen to go back to inking. My suggestion is to try to set the spring loaded delete from the setting flyout. So let's go to setting, let's turn on this check. Now what happened after that is that I can ink, I can go to delete, delete my last stroke, and I'm going to go back to inking. It allows to more quickly correct mistakes while you're inking and go back to inking. The last tool on the right is the selection tool. You can select a region of ink, move it around, or tap on the delete button to delete. The last note you had open is restored when you next open Scribble. But if you want to save it, you can press on Save, select the folder, type a name, let's type Test, press Save. After that, any modification to this file is automatically saved. Let's press the back button and navigate to the gallery of all the notes I have created. You can see this is the note that we just created. You can open it uh, or select it to to perform a number of operations as share or delete and so on. If you tap on a project title, you will get to a view where all the notes that you saved in that project will be displayed in a large size so you can easily review them and select to do a number of operations or just tap to open them. Last, if you swipe from the bottom, you reveal the app bar that has a few more options to share or to select between drawing and writing mode. That's it. Enjoy the app and send me your comment at mail at scribblert.com or read the app on the Windows Store. Thank you for listening.